Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be talking all about tick prevention and what you do to keep ticks off of you. We're also going to be testing this stuff, permethrin, to see if it actually works. We've got a unique experiment in mind, so bear with us. There's gonna be some stupidity, there's gonna be some fun, and uh, I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but hopefully there's gonna be some ticks so we can see if this stuff actually works. Let's get to it. This is one of the dumbest things we've done. Gucci and I just ran up to the hardware store and we purchased one of these painter super suits. tough painter suits right here. It was like seven bucks. So now we're gonna set it down with our other gear and we're gonna spray half of it with permethrin and half of it without. Then we're gonna go to the woods and show you guys how well it works. That might be a little snug on me, Gucci. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of small. That was the only one they had. We're gonna treat everything on our left side. So my left shoe, my left sock, and then the left side of the painter suit with permethrin. <laughs> it's not gonna fit me at all. I'm gonna look like a complete buffoon out here. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do to keep it, to keep the one side from getting treated. Now make it scientific. To keep permethrin from getting on the side that we don't want treated for the purposes of this experiment, we're gonna lay these trash bags down here across the scene. We'll spray the front side first and then we'll turn it around and spray the back side. The trick with permethrin, you need to spray all your garments with it and then leave it set for two hours. It doesn't work like your typical brand of, you know, repel bug spray would where you just spray everything down and you're good to go. This stuff has to have time to bind to the fabric. And then it actually works for several weeks in washings after that initial application. It's also a good idea if you're applying this to use rubber gloves, maybe even eye protection so that it can't get in your eyes. I don't have any at the current moment, so I'm just being extra careful. Our handy drying bush. All right, now we'll come back in two hours and put this thing on and take it to the woods. All right, Greg just got here. Our suit has dried now for two hours. I've got my tight fitting clothes on. We'll talk about those in a little bit. We're gonna put the suit on and go out and see if we can find some ticks. Leave quite a few ticks on that path. We've uh, found ourselves some good looking tick habitat here to do our testing. Oh, hello. Keep that for hunting in the snow. I can't bend over so you guys are gonna have to put my shoes on for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to be serious right now with this suit literally cutting off circulation everywhere. Left side, permethrin, right side, none. So in theory, you would think, I'm gonna have a bunch of ticks on this side, or this side, and none over here. But we're gonna go find out right now. So I'm just gonna go walk around through these woods for about 30 minutes, we'll see what we come up with. What do you think's going through his head? Oh yeah, we're gonna get some ticks. Me? Yep. Sounds confident. Yeah, I sure hope that we, uh, be the one time we come out here that we don't get ticks on us. Reminds me of a segment on the Red Green Show. <laughs> Who knows if it's actually going to work or not. Got our first tick. He's on the right side here, crawling up my sock. That's the untreated side. This is one of the dumbest things we've done. For sure. Just chill here for a while, you think? Yeah. It's like a real good spot for ticks to be. Come on, ticks. One of the little nasty ones. Little bitty tiny sucker. Good grief, look at that thing. Now we're gonna take this little bitty seed tick and move him over to the leg that's treated. Nasty little thing. He does not want to be on there. I can tell you that. Let's see how long he lasts on there. He's already getting a little wobbly. Done. He's been there for maybe a minute now. 
he's starting to move really slow and shrivel up a little bit. And if you're walking along, he's just gonna fall right off of your pants at that point. I mean, he's, the thing is almost dead. This stuff literally kills them if they stay on there too long. So far though, I've counted six on my right leg and I've been walking around so when I see one, I count it and then I keep walking and sometimes they get brushed off. But I've counted six over here, I've counted zero over here and I just put that little sucker over here. Here's another one that just got on and he is in, he's in a bad way. Just toast. That could be on you for 48 hours and you may never see that tiny little thing. Right. He was coming on my left shoe. He was already starting to get a little wobbly. Oh, that's a good one. I think that's the seventh one I found. A few of them I found on the left pant leg and the majority of them I found on the right pant leg or my right side here that's untreated. But the ones that I found on the left leg don't last very long. You want me to move him over there? Now and see what it does to him. All right, this little guy has been on the untreated side for the last five minutes. I'm gonna move him over to the treated side and see how he likes it. See how long you last over here. Oh, ooh, that doesn't feel good, does it? He's starting to get wobbly, like he's had a few beers. Oh no, he's gonna fall off. He can't, ha he can't hang. He can't hang. He can't hang. Oh, there he goes. Done. <laughs> he was on there for a minute. a minute. He was stronger than than his other brothers, but he just couldn't handle it. The thing is, that wobbly he was. If you were walking around at all, he would have yeah. been rushed off there. Right. Almost, almost instantly. Yeah. Yeah, and a while, while ago, I was getting them on my sock down here on this side, and I was walking for 100 yards, and I'd look down there, and they'd still be there attached. They would just be hanging on for dear life when you're moving through the woods. Kind of disgusting, but it's a good experiment. Yeah, we're scientists. We're scientific. <laughs> I don't know what more you need to see. I'd like to get out of this... Uh, white unitard here and get back to the ranch pick the rest of these nasty things off of me all right we made it back up here to the car and uh, figured we'd just talk real quick about what we found we've probably found seven or eight ticks total on the suit and we've been out there for maybe an hour as we expected the ticks on the right side of the suit stuck on they were crawling around moving around with me as i was moving through the woods the ones that were on the left side of the suit only stayed there for a minute. What did you clock the one at? Yeah. A minute. Right at a minute before he just shriveled up and fell right off of there. In fact, Greg filmed one of the tiny ones actually die on my leg. It was incredible how quickly yeah. they reacted to it. Almost instantly, that bigger one started wobbling and getting, you know, getting a little, getting a little funky. Yeah. So it was, it was really cool, really encouraging to know that it acts that quickly. And if you get one on you, they lose their orientation. Right. They can't crawl effectively. Then they just fall off if you brush up against something. So that's. That was really cool to see. The stuff works, and on a serious note, I know we're just running around the woods, or at least I am, with a ridiculous painter suit on, and we're having fun with this, but on a serious note, tick diseases are extremely dangerous. Zach actually got Lyme disease from a tick last spring, and I'll show you a picture of the bite right here. It's nasty. He was down sick for like a week and a half, had 104 degree fevers at night, and luckily they caught it in time where he was able to get prescribed and now he's feeling much better and Greg's wife Mindy has got an alpha gal tick allergy how right. long has she had that uh, 12 to 15 years ago she got bit once contracted the disease and then got better could eat red meat again and then got bit again and it and contracted the disease again or it caused it to flare back up so she has not been able to eat red meat for 10 years Mindy went hiking in Colorado with some friends of ours uh, in late May and one of the girls there got they found one tick on her and she got Rocky Mountain spotted fever from that Wow! it just goes to show the wide variety of, of tick-borne diseases that you can get and the importance of taking these preventative measures because it can be a life-changing disease yeah it's nothing to mess around with we've been wearing permethrin for a while now but we're gonna start getting even more serious with it we're gonna start spraying the seats in our trucks and our cars especially during hunting season the importance of spraying the car can't be understated because like we were over at Greg's house and I got in the car and I looked at my arm and I had a tick crawling at me and we hadn't done anything. Spraying the car seats is really important. You can also spray your tent, you can spray a tarp with it, you can spray your backpack with it. 
And best practice is to spray your pants, your shirt, and your socks. And then I know I look ridiculous right now, but it's smart to tuck your pants into your socks like that. That way if ticks get on your socks and they start crawling upward, that they're crawling across the outside of your pant leg that is treated instead of crawling up the inside of your leg and then biting you. And as you can tell, I got tight fitting clothes on. This is also a good idea to throw on underneath of your outer layer if you're going out there, if it's not too hot. I mean, this stuff's fairly breathable. It's like 80 degrees today. And I had that stupid suit on and I haven't really been sweating, haven't been too hot walking around with that thing. So bottom line, if you're going to the woods during warm weather, keep ticks off of you by using permethrin. It's that simple. The other reason we really like it is it's odorless. So if you're really worried about your scent, which we're not always worried about. Yeah, it's great for hunters, but this product is for everyone though. Right. Hunters, fishermen, hikers, any really any outdoor activity where you might be in an area where there's ticks, treat your clothes with this stuff. It will make a difference. Uh, was that everything on tick prevention? Pretty much. I think it is. That's it for this video on tick prevention, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. I'm going to go throw this uh, $7 painter suit in the trash <laughs> and hopefully never have to intentionally go to the woods and get ticks on me ever again. I don't know if you can see them or not. Can you see them? That's what they are. They're teeny tiny ticks. Teeny tiny ticks. That's gross right there. We just got back to the house, got everything off. I took my socks off my feet and I checked my left foot down here, which is the side that was treated and I don't have a tick anywhere on them, but I felt them on my right foot. I can feel them biting my foot. You can look down there and there's like 10 or 15 tiny, tiny seed ticks on my foot. Right there, they're just biting in. So that's uh Yeah, that's disturbing. That's pretty gross. There's another one. That's why you gotta use that stuff. Yeah.